Hey guys, I want to do a video update on this shrimp tank. So this was a coal shrimp line from uh, Lucas Brett's. And, you know, I think it was maybe 5 or 10 shrimp. And the tank, it's a 10 gallon. And let me just kind of go over this tank real quick. It's running a matten filter. Um, I like running matten filters for shrimp tanks because it gives them a ton of surface area. And you can see all the shrimp that are on that filter. They just love eating off of that filter. Um, anyways, I always do a lava rock pile, which is over here. Uh, this is pool filter sand substrate. Um, it's got ram's horn snails. And if you're curious about this breeder box, uh, this is a breeder box. It's a marina brand. And out of all the breeder boxes, they're only air powered. I think marina is probably one of the best. Um, I do sell the Phoenix brand um, breeder box, but it's air and also has a little water pump. But anyways, this box is on here strictly to grow Christmas moss when I sell shrimp because it's super easy for me to pull a little piece of moss from right here to put in the shrimp bags when I ship them versus trying to get into a tank and disturbing it to get a piece of moss. I'm growing it on the exterior of the tank which is a really good idea. So say if you have like a goldfish tank, you could always put a breeder box on the tank and then put some plants in the breeder box to grow. So goldfish or, or maybe if you got some cichlids, something that might disturb plants, you could always use a breeder box. Well, anyways, let's get back on topic here. The reason I wanted to show you this tank is this tank has always been, let's say low production on shrimp. And tonight the lights are off in the fish room. I actually had to turn this rack system back on so I could do this video. I was making my rounds, just checking all the tanks. And I noticed that there is a ton of shrimp in here. You can see it. They're all over this filter. If I can get it to focus. But there's a ton of young ones. So these aren't like fresh babies, but these are, I would say, within the last uh, couple weeks. But also, let me see if I can find one uh, without getting the glare. And of course I can't. It's too dark. Come on, camera. Like, that female right there is carrying eggs. That's called being buried. And I saw a few in here. Uh, of course, right before I started filming. But there's quite a few females that are buried right now. And I kind of... Really, the only thing that has changed in the last few weeks that would, I would think, contribute to kind of a population boom... There's, there's a female... That's a female and that's a female. They're both buried. I'm getting getting a lot of reflection off this tank. It's I'm trying to get close enough to not to get the reflection, but it's not working too well. Anyways, you'll have to take my word for it. This tank is kind of booming right now. And I just kinda of want to show you down here. All the white specks. That's the calcium. That's the ground up and broken eggshells I did a video on a few weeks ago. I've been dosing this tank since that video with calcium uh, more so than normal. And you can tell there's quite a bit in the bottom of this tank on the substrate. And I think what's going on is it's really promoting the growth of the shrimp because the shrimp need the calcium to be able to uh, molt their shells and I think that's what's kind of doing it. Um, feeding, I don't feed them any more or less than I have been. It's just I've been dosing extra calcium in the tank. So I think that might be a key on this. And I just kind of want to update you on that original video I did about calcium to show I believe it's actually helping dosing more calcium than I originally thought I needed. But anyways, guys, this, that, I mean, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. It's kind of an update on the shrimp tank. And this rack system, 
is going going to go away. That tank's empty. This tank has one killifish in it that I thought was actually dead. It was hiding really well, um, but it's it's honestly at the end of its um, probably at the end of its life. It's down there in the corner. Um, it's two years old now, so it's killifish don't last very long. Um, but the this whole rack system is going to go away. And this is really the main source of the water for my fish room, so I do have a plan what to do, but I want to replace this whole rack system. It currently only has four tanks. It only had five to begin with, but this tank that was over here went to my rainbow breeder. He needed a grow-out tank for a bunch of his fry. And, um... Th these are all going to go away, and I do have a plan, but... Alright, guys, I don't want to ramble on and on, but just wanted to show you. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll try to release more content here soon. See you guys. Uh -huh.